So she's pushing. Imagine that. She's pushing and they're sticking this COVID test <laughs> in her nose. And it was the craziest That's thing. That's just disrespectful. That's horrible. <laughs> You know, the first question is really just getting to know you in, in Asia, right? Okay. How long have you been together? How many kids do you have? <laughs> by, and, and when did you find out you were pregnant? Okay, so uh, this is awesome. My, my wife is my best friend. She's uh, super awesome. Um, you know, she, you know how Beyonce say, oh, let me upgrade you. <laughs> I got upgraded when I got my queen. Uh, so it's been awesome. Uh, yeah, we got pregnant during the pandemic, which was really, really deep. You know what I mean? So, uh, it was literally while everything was going on, uh, me and Asia, we have two kids together, two kids. Uh, you know, so I have wisdom, uh, who's a toddler right now. She's, uh, three years old, <laughs> yeah, which is awesome. And then I have honor who was born, uh, during the pandemic. And then I have two older kids from a previous marriage as well. So I have four all together. So we have four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you find out you're pregnant, how many months mm -hmm. into this, uh, this pandemic lockdown situation are we in? Uh, we were pretty a few months in, you know what I mean? We were, we were definitely in, um, and it was like right at the beginning of it all. And of course, with this pandemic, we were all thinking like, okay, how long is this pandemic going to go? Yeah. How did the pandemic initially affect your expectations around like pregnancy, right? Going to appointments and like whatever was, yes. whatever you would normally do. The hospital told us, Hey, because of this pandemic, you have to do the ultrasounds like on FaceTime. And I was like, no, like, like, like this is old man. So, uh, but thank God for FaceTime because of the fact that, you know, that was something we could use. You know, my wife was sitting there, you know, uh, with the phone so I can be a part of it. And I got to ask the doctor questions and all that stuff like that. So how was it in terms of creating a birth plan? Is that something you all did? Like, what was your, what was the path there? Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, we always, you know, write everything down. We did that with the first uh, pregnancy and we made sure that the nurses and the doctor know what we want and what we wanted. Uh, and so we always have a prayer with there as well. Uh, we want to spend as most time, uh, as much time as we wanted with the baby. Uh, yeah, you do, definitely you do the skin to skin, skin to skin, definitely do the skin to skin, uh, staying there with mommy and baby. Uh, just really uh, having that love moment after uh, the uh, the birth, you know? <laughs> yeah. Did you, as dad, ever experience mm -hmm. like fear or anxiety around, you know, childbirth as Black parents, childbirth during a pandemic? What was that? Did you have any of those feelings? Uh, I remember when we had uh, Wisdom, uh, we had a whole thing that we had on the list you know, how are we going to do it? Because she was going to do a natural uh, birth, right? We're going to try to do that. But then it got to the point where they were like, okay, uh, she wasn't coming all the way through. And uh, she had a, a, a C-section, right? And I remember uh, how my wife felt like in that moment, because we were doing everything. We were doing the breathing techniques she had breathe, and all this stuff. And she was just like hurt because she's like, I wanted to, you know, have it the natural way and all this stuff. But I was like, baby, it's okay. Like you've done amazing. Like we've been pushing for hours and you've done an amazing job. And uh, we had the C-section. So that was something, you know, with this, um, with our uh, second baby with Donna, that was the thing where it's like, okay, I want to do it the, the natural way I want to nice, do it nice. you know, and, and literally, you know, try it, you know, and, you know, I, I feel either, either way it's still good, you know, cause women are amazing, amazing, you know what I mean? So both ways, but uh, definitely she wanted to try it the natural way uh, this time around. And uh, I'll let you know what happened when I tell you the, <laughs> the <tell> story. <laughs> okay. Um, I am ready. So we were just going with our regular days and we get up like early in the morning. Like I told you before, I pray, work out, meditate. And then my wife does 
the same before uh, our toddler gets up. Now, my wife works out this morning. She feels a little bit of discomfort, right? Where she feels like, okay, this might be a contraction, but she continues her day. She doesn't tell me about it because she doesn't want to give me like, oh, we gotta go, let's go, let's go, to the husband. You know what I mean? So everything's good. We're chilling, and everything's good. And so I have an interview. Like, you know, how we're all doing Zooms and all this stuff like that. And I told the interviewer, I said, look, uh, uh, you know, there's contractions happening. But as of right now, she's okay. So, you know, if I have to stop this thing in the middle of this, it might just happen. During this time, my wife is like calling everybody, all of our team. You have to have a team when this happens, especially when you have other kids. You know what I mean? So you got to make sure that everybody's your, taking your care village, of. Your village, your village. <laughs> exactly. So we're starting to call everybody, getting them ready, right? So now my wife is like, she had called the hospital and they're like, well, wait until they're like three minutes apart, three minutes or two minutes apart. And she's like, okay. So we're because hanging it's out. Also, it's also COVID. You don't want to be there too long, right? Exactly. Because before it, it, they would have had us come up there already. But they were just like, this time around, because of COVID, they were like, wait until it's like three minutes, two minutes apart. But all of a sudden, my wife comes downstairs and I'm putting the bags inside of the car, right? <laughs> and Asia's like, oh no, oh no, I think my water broke. And I'm like, huh? And it's like, it's, you know, it's right there. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay, all right, time to go. Asia's like this. She's literally like, she's all like this, like this baby is about to come out right now. She was like, I want to say six centimeters or 10 centimeters, like baby was out, like literally like coming out. And so uh, she's like, it's coming out right now. I don't want to add this baby in the car. And I'm like, oh no, we're about to have the baby in the car. Oh my goodness. I'm driving. She's like, go through the lights. <laughs> he's just like go through the lights and I'm like babe I can't I can't go through the red lights okay I can't so we get to the hospital and now honor is like he's literally coming out right now they meet us outside the nurses take her they take her up and Asia calls me she's like oh where are you and I'm like I'm downstairs filling out some security test and the lady's like tell them right now that you're having a baby get up here and I was like okay cool and I told them they let me up ran upstairs and literally my wife, I mean, legs open the whole night. She's <laughs> pushing because we got there and he was already coming out. Uh, Asia didn't have time to take anything. So like <laughs> nothing, no drug, nothing. And then it was like, oh, you also have to take a COVID test because we have to do this. So she's pushing. Imagine that she's pushing and they're sticking this COVID test <laughs> <laughs> in her nose and it was the craziest that's thing to just watch disrespectful that's horrible <laughs> i'm seeing her screaming and then it's just ah <laughs> like oh my goodness you know but if you if you ask asia now like about it like she'll tell you like she doesn't even remember like it going up her nose because the pain was down there pushing it out literally she had a natural birth which i knew that she wanted and i'm y'all you know, about to have me tear up don't do that y'all gonna tear up on this show but, but for, for me, that was just, it, it was just, a, it was a beautiful moment. That's a great story period, okay? Like you, you held her down. Like she is a superhero, okay? They say all moms are superhero, but I'm giving it up to your wife right now for real. Okay, Thank from, a, you. from a person who knows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have to continue to just say how important it is to hear you say that in a pandemic, as a black woman, your wife pursued and had a successful VBAC. Yeah. So I'm yeah. really grateful for you sharing that. Yes. Yes. It's, it's possible. <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious in the process of this, of this birth or, or pregnancy as well, did you all, or did she do anything different or special or thoughtful to prepare mm -hmm. for a vaginal birth as, after cesarean? You know, something, um, that my wife always talks about uh, is working out. She uh, worked out during the pregnancy. And, uh, and, and, you know, we did it with wisdom as well, but she had an injury 
with wisdom. And so like towards the end, she didn't work out as much, you know? And then, so we were like, yo, so with this one, should we, you know, do it? And she uh, got a different plan. Like it was actually like a pregnancy workout routine that she was doing that wasn't as intense. And uh, she really says that that really uh, helps uh, with her having the, the muscle and the endurance to, to push out, you know what I mean, during that time. And I'm sure she'll probably tell you more. She'll be like, girl, it was. <laughs> yeah. You know, is there anything else that you all did from the standpoint, either for the for the VBAC or as black parents? But how did you select your birth team, your birth hospital? Like, how did you think about things like that? So we're, we're, we're always about going to the doctor. We also take a uh, holistic approach, too, as well, you know, and vitamins and things like that. So we just have everything together. So we already knew as far as like what hospital and, and the doctor and all that stuff. As far as our village, we always like, we knew the people in our family that, okay, who's gonna be the person that always picks up the phone call? So we went through the list of, of that. Also for me, it was, you know, when she's, uh, we always talked about when she's in labor that I have all the, the numbers and they start calling me now, right? And that I had to be able to, answer all the questions for everybody because a lot of people would start a call and like, well, where are you? What room? What's this happening? And so I had to make sure that I was ready to do that. What, what would be your advice to dads during that time to create the best environment um, for yeah. mom and baby? Be aware. That's another thing I would say as a man, be aware because my wife, she's like a superwoman. So it's like, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this, I can do that. And it's kind of like, well, babe, you know what? I mean, you can, maybe I can help with this. You know, let me take this off your shoulders and I can help with this. You know, do that. And, uh, you know, she'll definitely appreciate that. Um, so that was something that we were doing and I would ask questions and I would do a check for myself to be like, okay, what am I doing to help my wife? A lot of that, because it's, it's teamwork, you know, like, you know, uh, she's the, the superwoman. She's definitely having the birth. But at the same time, it's like you have to be there, uh, a good teammate. You know what I mean? Rooting her on. Like, like let's do this. Dude. And I'll share something, too, because we haven't uh, we haven't really shared this with anybody. But, I, you know, I, I just the Lord is telling me to tell you. So I'm going to tell you. So basically, um, we had a miscarriage before honor was born which was like right before the pandemic so that was very very hard that was hard because it was um it was just like the family knew that we were having a kid you know but the the, the world didn't know because as celebrities you know we'll get out you know online and we'll tell people like hey we're having a baby and so our family knew and our inner circle knew but then when we had the miscarriage, that was I was doing Dancing with the Stars every time. And I did not want, well, my wife, I asked her, this is part of asking. I asked my wife, I was like, babe, do you, because uh, they were like, you know, wanting us to mention it. And I was like, no. I was like, I don't want to, you know, mention it, talk about it. And my wife was like, she didn't want to say anything about it because she wanted to, you know, deal with that, um, us, you know, have that time to deal with that hurt. You know what I mean? And so uh, it was definitely painful for both of us uh, during that time. So when we got pregnant with Honor, it was like we know that he was a gift from God because we prayed uh, for him and we prayed uh, intensely for him. And when she got pregnant, now I'm just telling you that so you know the dynamic of this, how this pregnancy was, where it was just like, counting the months and how long we were going and making sure he was healthy the entire time, that she's healthy the entire time, that everything was going great. Um, and so it was really like this love uh, that was over him that we were doing to make sure. And then, you know, um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, we're not going to it too far, but you know, it was just, it, it, it was uh, a beautiful moment when, he was born because, you know, from when you have a miscarriage, that took a lot of time to like uh, recover from, you know, for us. Uh, it was like, because we've heard, we heard the heartbeat. We didn't know uh, what gender yet it was, but um, it was just, it was deep. So uh, honor put a smile on our face 
uh, when that happened, God blessed us uh, again to have another child, which is beautiful. So, yeah. <laughs> that is that is so beautiful. And I appreciate you sharing that. Um, yeah. We don't talk enough about this part of life yeah. and the, the yeah. hurt and the healing and the, mm -hmm. and the process and the, the, the process of, of new love that happens mm -hmm. at every stage of, of creating life. Yes. Um, so I appreciate you very much. Mm -hmm.